I believe we have left off. Good morning, Patricia. Great to see you. How you been feeling? Good morning, Nora. Am I coming through loud and clear? I must be, because Patricia just responded. Morning, Phyllis. Morning. Oh, there's Aunt Helen. Good morning, Helen. Great to see you. Morning, Bonnie. Beautiful sunny day after all that, uh, all that uh, rain that we had there last night and yesterday. Good morning, Velma. Well, we got Wingham covered, we got Godridge covered, we got Fordbridge covered, we've got Listful covered so far this morning. <coughs> Morning, Joyce. Morning, Eleanor. Morning, Faye. Doug and Lise. Lenora and Erlen, great to see everybody. Morning, Donnie and Joyce. John and Linda McDonald over in Godridge, great to have you with us. Mary Martin. Thanks, Mary. I'll fill you in on the details in a bit. Marie, great to see you. Glad to hear that uh, that you're coming along and. And the same with uh, Carolyn. We'll get everybody signed in here. Morning, Dwayne. How are you? If you happen to see your mother, you know what, you can do the normal thing for me. Morning, Deb. Morning, Mary. Ron and Carol, morning. I knew you'd get the idea, Dwayne. Great to see you. There's Huey and Bonnie. Great to see you. How are things down in, uh, in Chatham? And there's Kenny. Happy, happy Sunday to you, Kenny, and also happy birthday. We'll be mentioning that later on in the service as well. Great to see you joining us from BC again this week. Great to see you every week. John 
John and Debbie just signed in from Walkerton. Sunny up there. John Marie. Mary Kathy Mulvey. Is that about a few minutes to go yet before we start into the service, but it's good to, to see everybody and have a visit to catch up on the news. Morning, Deb, John. Great to see you from down in Elmer. Hope you had a great birthday yesterday there, Deb. Good morning and sorry to Kelly. Hope things are good down there. Morning, Lorna. Hope you had a great uh, Great time up in Manitoulin Island. A little bit of catch up on birthdays and anniversaries from uh, from last week, but you know. Try to include as many as we can uh, today. Good morning, Kim. Doug's got a birthday coming. Thanks, Kim. I'll add him to the list this morning for the first and hope both you guys are, are doing uh, well. I did get your, your message there the other day. Morning, Maureen. Morning, Sherry. Oh, how are things up in Collingwood, Sherry? Morning, Anne Marie. I hope, uh, uh, Sherry, that you're out uh, fishing these days, and uh, I'm going to bring you up to date a little bit later on in the service, and I've got a little bit of a challenge for you. Well, we've got about five minutes or so, so we'll let everybody else sign in and catch up on the, the news from everyone. Good morning, Jim. Great to have you joining us from, from Wellesley these days. I expect your better half is sitting around there as well. We've got pretty well most of the most of the province uh, covered right now in, in territory, and we're out to uh, out to BC. I know uh, Barbo and Alberta will probably be signing in for too long as well. Morning, Ross. Morning, Brian. Rosie, great to have you with us. Well, we we got a lot of the the Ferris and Irwin clan joining in with us today. Mac and Norm Engels just signed in. And whoever might else uh, be there with them, a great to have you all with us. It's it's kind of like a little church service up there, uh, with everybody gathered together watching it today. Morning, John. Down in Peterborough, great to have you joining with us. Paul Dawson, great to have you with us. 
I like your Superman shirt. I've got I've got one upstairs too. We could almost be twins. Yours might be a little bigger in size than what mine is, but we can still be twins. I knew you, I knew you'd agree, Paul. I just knew you would. Oh, Tom and Bonnie. Oh, thanks, Deb. I thought maybe they had, had left and gone back. So great to have uh, Tom and, and, and Bonnie with us. Uh, that's Deb's brother. They're home from BC. So great to have them sharing in uh, with us uh, today as well. I, I saw them just about a week or so ago. So great to... Great to catch up with you again. Or, uh, the uh, Rockshire congregation that are uh, are watching uh, with us this morning, uh, Deb Underhill and Tom and uh, Bonnie Bagley. Uh, that's uh, Betty Bagley's daughter and, and son and, and daughter-in-law. So that kind of brings everybody in the Rockshire congregation up to date and, and share uh, with them uh, this day as well. Morning, Brenda. I'm not sure where. I think Quincy's upstairs uh, with Susan. I'm, I'm not sure where he is. Kim, if he comes down, I'll see if I can get him to, to jump up here uh, uh, on, the, on the lap with the cam. Sometimes he comes down and sometimes he doesn't. Oh, good morning, Doug. Glad to, I'm glad to have you with us, Doug. You can keep a little better eye on Phyllis because I can't see her on cam. So it's good that you're keeping an eye on her there for me this morning. How's things down? Uh, Mary Martin, how are things going down in your neck of the woods? Uh, I haven't had a chat with you. How's all those flowers doing you've got down there? Oh, good morning, Mary. Mary McLean. I expect that uh, Murray's kind of snuggled in there beside her as well, watching. Uh, we can make room in the front row with the rest of the rest of the folks. Uh, uh, Murray, if if you need a front row seat. Morning, Janet. We have a number number of different folks signing in from uh, from Chatham today as well. So it's great to see everybody and. There's Michelle. I was uh, thinking of you the other day, Michelle, uh, while uh, we were actually away. We were in Wyerton uh, down at uh, Dogside Willie's having, uh, having lunch. 
and uh, was uh, was thinking about you folks. I guess we got about a minute to go. Uh, actually, uh, Murray McLean, if you're going to take a front row seat, that's fine, but just make sure that there's room for, for John now that Michelle is here. John will make room, and uh, I'm not sure whether uh, Lloyd is uh, needing a, a spot as well. Harry and Sheila, great to see you down in Brussels today. It is now 10.30 and, and we'll, we'll begin, but before we begin the service, I just thought I would share a little bit of, of the difficulties of last week. Uh, there were te technical difficulties because Susan and I were actually away all last week for a little bit of a, a holiday and uh, there was no uh, proper uh, Wi-Fi service at the cottage where we were, so we couldn't record. So that was the difficulties we were having last week with being away. As I say, we were up in above Wyerton, and Sherry Snell is on, and I have a little bit of a challenge uh, uh, for her today. She's up in Collingwood, and uh, last Tuesday, Rick Lasseline and I were out fishing, and we caught a fish. I caught while well, I, I was driving the boat and drove over top. Uh, we got a 15 pound salmon. So, Sherry, there's your challenge. See if you can uh, you can beat that. I may have to put a post or send you a picture of it, but we did get that uh, salmon last Tuesday, so a little bit of a challenge for those who are fishermen to see if they can. Uh, he got one the week before, 12 pounder and a 9 pounder the week before, but we got the 15. Uh, uh, this week. So great to see everybody out this morning. Uh, uh, Kevin Townsend just signed in, Debbie Edgar uh, Miller as well. So good morning to everybody. And as we're back online, uh, we begin today with our usual gather for this 20th online service uh, since Easter. This will be our, our 20th service online during this uh, COVID period, August the 30th, 2020. And so we've got August the 20th service of August 30th, 2020. So lots of twos and threes and zeros uh, in those numbers this morning. And let us begin uh, with our gathering as usual. <laughs> tell of God's gifts. Sing praises for all that God has done. Let our hearts be joyful and seek God's presence. We will always remember the blessings of God and glorify God forever. Amen. Our opening hymn this morning will possibly bring back some memories for uh, some of those listening today. Normally we would just do, years ago, just do the, uh, the first verse of the hymn. Today we're going to do uh, all four verses. McKinney will have uh, the uh, the list up there, the words up there uh, for you uh, in a few moments. Our opening hymn is that old standard that we sang for years to open church with, Holy, Holy, Holy. <laughs>
Let us pray. Loving God, deep is our desire for what is true and enduring. Deep is our need to see you clearly. Deep is our longing for you, O oh God. In you we live and move and have our being. We worship you in humble praise, holy God, ever three and ever one. For we ask this in your name. Amen. Our scripture reading for this 20th online service is taken from the book of Romans. In the 12th chapter, beginning to read at verse 9 and reading through to the end of verse 13. Love must be sincere. Hate what is evil. Claim to what is good. Be devoted to one another in brotherly love. Honor one another above yourselves. Never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual fervor serving the Lord. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Share with God's people who are in need and practice hospitality. May God add his blessings to the readings of this, his holy word, and to his name be praise and glory. Our theme, rolling through many of our hymns today and part of our meditation, based on that scripture reading, is dealing with kindness. Reaching out to others in difficulty and as we continue in these times of isolation and as we continue to see the numbers rise and fall in the, in the medical stats of this pandemic, we think of that word kindness to others. And so for our anthem today, I want to share with you a song that was recorded on a church tape a number of years ago. And Ron Mann is going to be sharing with us in that, in that song today a piece entitled, Try a Little Kindness. Classic song, and we thank Ron for sharing that with us in that uh, uh, recording uh, this day. Great job there, Ron. As we prepare for our morning prayers this day, let's now pause for our memorial. Blessed are those who die in the Lord. Blessed indeed, says the Spirit. 
announced the death this past week of Bruce Baker, brother-in-law of Keith and Nora Orr of our uh, Gory congregation. Remember Bruce and his work and witness around the community of Moncton, his humor and his laugh. We think of Faye and uh, the rest of the family today as they miss him this past, missed him this past week. Bruce has been on our, our prayer list for a few months now. And uh, I'll have to tell you a little story. Uh, it was an Easter a couple years ago. Uh, we were all together at, uh, at Keith and Norris. And uh, we had butter tarts. Bruce was there, along with a few others of the family, but Faye was at work. And she was missing the butter tarts. So Bruce and I decided that we would gather up all the tart tins, and he would take them home for uh, Faye to explain that she had missed all these great butter tarts. Well, I knew somewhere along the line I would, uh, I would, there would be a payback. And so the other day when we were out and about, and I, I did check my phone a couple of days when we were away from, the, away from the cottage, Faye sent me a picture, actually Nora sent the picture, of Faye eating this great big butter tart. So I knew it, was, it would get back to me, but that was just some of the fun that, that Bruce and I uh, shared uh, in the last uh, few years. Also announced uh, this past week, and, and Dwayne has been on our, our prayer uh, board as well for about the last month, uh, Dwayne Harris over around uh, Lucknow, and uh, we keep the Harris family in their thoughts and prayers, as well as other members of the extended family. I know Connie and, and Ray have been listening to the services in the past few weeks. That's uh, Dwayne's uh, mother and dad. And also, uh, some of you may know Dwayne. He uh, was great friends and a hunting buddy with, uh, with Kevin Townsend. And so we think of all those friends uh, this day and family in the loss uh, of Dwayne with his, uh, with his battle with, with cancer. Let us now, in a moment of silence, remember Bruce and Dwayne. And remember their families in this time of loss. Let us pray. Blessed are they in deeds of the Spirit, for they rest from their labors, for their deeds follow them. Amen. As we prepare for our prayers this day, we share in our joys and our concerns. First of all, I, I saw through our, our Facebook uh, list uh, just in the last couple of days that uh, Rick Nay has just become a new grandfather to a little one called Charlie Lynn. Sarah and Andrew are the parents of the little one, and so congratulations to Rick and the rest of the Nay family on this uh, new arrival with, uh, in, that, uh, in that service. And also, uh, last week, just before we left on holidays, I had the, the privilege of uh, sharing in a wedding, uh, Cody McCann and Haley Duck, and congratulations to them. I know there was a few pictures posted on uh, Facebook. Uh, there I saw while we were away they were posted, but congratulations to uh, Cody and Haley on that special day uh, a, week ago, yeah, a week ago Friday. As we remember the anniversaries and birthdays this day, I uh, understood what well, last Sunday, even though we weren't on, and we missed it, that Kirk and Kathy McMillan had their wedding anniversary uh, last Sunday, and so we give a shout out to, to them as well. And also uh, this weekend, Kelvin... Crystal and Elvin Groom are having their 20th anniversary. So a shout out to, uh, to Crystal and Elvin. And I know I'm not sure whether uh, any of the uh, Harrison and, and uh, Finley families are listening this morning, uh, but uh, Crystal was Crystal Finley. We have a number of, of birthdays to, uh, to share with you. Uh, as I mentioned there earlier, uh, Deb Underhill had a birthday yesterday, and a shout out to Elmer, to her, uh, Mary Edgar. Uh, had a birthday yesterday, and a shout out to Georgetown to her, 
and uh, went out to also uh, up above Lucknow to uh, Dart Breckles, who had uh, a birthday uh, yesterday. Uh, back on August the 28th, uh, Andrew Schmidt, a Amber Schmidt had a birthday, and also Marilyn Toner Hook had one as well, and so we keep them in our thoughts, and uh, I noticed that uh, uh, Mum was uh, on there today uh, for Marilyn, so shout out and coming up. Uh, then on uh, today, we have a few for today, and I know that uh, Kenny Farish is on listening to the service and out in Tawasa, B.C., and uh, uh, he has one today. So uh, a big shout out from Gorian Rockster to Kenny out in, in Tawasan. Lisa Peel has one today, and uh, also uh, Nicole Noble uh, has one. Uh, actually, uh, back uh, on uh, the back on the 25th, we talked about Kirk and Kathleen McMillan's anniversary. Kirk McMillan had a birthday back on August the 25th. And I believe also that Donna Mast just celebrated her 50th uh, birthday just recently as well. Also coming up in the, in the coming few days, uh, on August 31st, Sherry Wiley over in Harriston is having a birthday. Also Brenda Renwick is having one. I believe those are both going to be tomorrow. Jacques Rutan is having one on the 2nd of September. And on the 3rd of September, uh, Mark Brewer is having a birthday. So a number of birthdays to, uh, to shout out to everyone uh, this day. Uh, I know we possibly missed a few with uh, being offline uh, last week, but if you did have a, a birthday in the last few days, uh, congratulations. And, uh, uh, and we, oh, sorry that, that we missed you in that time. As we have shared in our joys, we also uh, remember those concerns and those people who are going through difficulties uh, at this time. And uh, we continue to keep uh, Mary King in our thoughts and prayers as she continues with her treatment. And uh, we give a shout out to Mary who's listening this morning. Also to Bill McLean as uh, Keith and Nora's, uh, Nora's brother, brother-in-law. Uh, going, still going through some difficult times, so we give a shout out to him. I understand that Marie Holborn and Carolyn Kuypers are, are both home and, and doing quite well considering the results of their accident, but we continue to keep them in our thoughts and prayers also. Uh, Grace Schill has been going through some difficulties, and so we, uh, uh, I noticed that Grace is on uh, listening this morning, but we keep her in our thoughts and prayers. We're not sure what the next uh, few uh, days and weeks are going to hold for Grace possibly needing some surgery. And so we keep her in our thoughts and prayers. We continue to keep Kevin Townsend, who was listening this morning, in our prayers. He's been having some treatment, and we continue to keep him in our thoughts and prayers as well. And we continue to remember all our frontline workers as we notice the, the curve is maybe going up a little bit uh, with our pandemic right now. And we also keep those in BC and in California who are dealing with uh, wildfires. Those uh, that one in northern Ontario is kind of dissipating, so that is, is good. And we also keep those folks uh, through uh, Mississippi, Louisiana, Arkansas, Tennessee, and, and up the Mississippi River Valley uh, from the uh, hurricane and tropical storm Laura uh, that have lost uh, hounds, homes, and family members. Uh, we keep them in our thoughts and prayers. I do notice that uh, the folks from uh, St. Louis, uh, cousins of mine, uh, Don and Betty, are watching and say everything is good with them. I was wondering whether that storm had, had got up that far or not. So uh, it's good to know that uh, uh, they're doing all right. Also, uh, Kim Oliver, who is a, a classmate of mine from public school and high school, has uh, lives in Brantford along with her uh, husband, Doug Jackson, and both have been going through some difficulty in the last week, and so we keep uh, there uh, in our thoughts and prayers as well. And I know there are other um, uh, mentions uh, on uh, John put on about prayers for himself as well, and so we keep everybody in our thoughts and prayers in these difficult times. Let us now focus our hearts and minds unto God in prayer. Let us pray. Gracious God, as we come into your presence this day. We thank you that we may once again share in the joy of coming together in unity, even though we are in our respective homes, or in the 
residents of friends listening to the service this day, we are together in unity by your love and by your spirit. And we come together, join together in that unity to worship you and lift up as those words of that opening hymn said, Holy, Holy, Holy. And as we come this day, we remember those celebrations in our lives, whether new arrivals, and we, we ask for a special blessing on, on Charlie Lynn uh, this day as the Nave family celebrates the joy of that new arrival. And also the joy of weddings, of anniversaries, of birthdays. May your continued blessing be upon those who are celebrating either in the past or in the coming days. And also remember those who in body, mind, and spirit need your strength. Those who are recovering from injuries, those who are in the midst of treatments, those who are, are waiting for the possibility of surgeries, we ask for your blessing. We also keep Keith Orr in our thoughts and prayers as he goes to London tomorrow to, and hopefully uh, has uh, procedures that will help his sight in the coming days. Gracious God, as we remember all these this day, we now lift in the silence of our own hearts others that we may not know the situation, but you know. So now in a moment of silence, we lift our own personal prayers to you. Lord, hear these, our prayers, and continue in your love to answer. Be with us this day as we join together, and be with us each and every day as we continue to travel through these difficult times, whether it be with the pandemic, those dealing with forest fires, those dealing with the results of the uh, Hurricane Laura, and other situations around the world. We pray for all your children keep them safe in these difficult times. So we ask now for that blessing. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and join together in the prayer you, you taught us to pray together, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. As we continue to share with our online services, uh, there was talk a while back that maybe by September we might be able to be doing something a little bit different. But the way things are looking and they're adjusting with some schools are going back, and now some schools in the Toronto area are not going back. And with the, the curve increasing, with the work that we have to do with wearing masks and cleaning the church and not singing and so forth, uh, we have decided to remain at the status quo as we have for the last uh, uh, 10 services, as I mentioned at the beginning. And so we will be continuing on here online until further notice. Uh, when that will be, we do not know. And so we just keep us uh, posted and uh, we will continue to worship together the best we can under the circumstances that we have. And uh, I know there, as far as I know, there aren't any more uh, holidays right now coming up. There may be some other technical difficulties, but we should be on uh, each, each week in the, next, uh, in the next month or so. And uh, I saw a post on Facebook yesterday that uh, a neighbor of mine from down home had been in Sarnia and went into the Canadian Tire Store, and they had all their Christmas decorations out on the shelves in the Canadian Tire Store. I couldn't be believe that when I saw the uh, uh, saw the picture that uh, that Karen had put on on Facebook. I don't think we're quite ready for that uh, yet, uh, but uh, I know they will uh, uh, be uh, be wanting to get that stuff out. So hopefully we'll have some nice weather through the month of. September yet. As we prepare for our time of meditation, we turn to our hymn, Somebody Did a Goal and Dean. Now this may not be too familiar to the ones that have not a regular attendance of Gory Roxeter, 
but we sing this play uh, often from our hymn book uh, in, in church, and it kind of ties in with our theme today. It's uh, someone did a golden deed, and uh, uh, McKinley will put the words uh, up there uh, for you as well. Gracious God, as we pause now in this moment to meditate upon your word, may you open our hearts and minds to the understanding of your word, so that we may go forth to do that golden deed, to cheer, to help, and support. We ask now for your blessing as we meditate upon your word and give thanks for the strength that you have given us this day and always. Amen. And speaking about doing a golden deed, I just thought I would share with you. I, I didn't bring it out to show you, but last night after we got home uh, from a week away, I had a telephone call, and, the, and this person said, We're going to be right over. We're bringing you a pie. We had this lovely peach pie brought over to the house. So, and a thanks to, uh, uh, to Keith and Nora for bringing uh, that, uh, that peach pie over for us. It was still warm last night, so we saved it. Uh, for today to have for uh, for lunch today, uh, but I thank you for that that deed. I know she had made a couple while we were away and sent a message and said, "Oh, by the way, we had to give them away or eat them ourselves because the expiry date had ran out on the pie." Now I didn't know that there was a, a expiry date on a pie, but anyway, uh, I think this one is is good at least till lunchtime today. As we turn back to our scripture reading. We heard these words, don't just pretend to love others, really love them. Hate what is wrong, hold tightly to what is good, love each other with genuine affection and, and take delight in honoring each other. Never be lazy but work hard and serve the Lord enthusiastically. Rejoice in our confident hope, be patient in, excuse me, be patient in trouble and keep on praying. When God's people are in need, be ready to help them. Always be eager to practice hospitality. These are, are great words for any time. But maybe in these times, 
These are the words that we especially need to hear. It seems that everywhere we turn, we are hearing differing opinions, conflicting news reports, and even as our American brothers and sisters would, would probably agree, even conspiracy theories. But the biggest words we hear today is not to be overcome. In Matthew chapter 6, verse 34, Jesus tells us, Don't worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring its own worries. Today's trouble is enough for today. In times like these, it's extremely easy to be overcome by worry and anxiety. Those things not only hurt us physically and emotionally, but also spiritually. They bring doubts and fears into the lives of believers and to hamper our faith and, and take away our hope. Jesus asks a great question, as also in Matthew 6, can all your worries add a single moment to your life? And of course the answer is no. So how do we keep ourselves from worrying? How do we keep ourselves from being overcome? The best way to overcome being overcome is to pray. In this time of separation, in this time of suffering, in this time of increasing numbers in, in sickness and deaths throughout the world with this pandemic, folks, we can't go around trying to carry the burdens of the world on our shoulders. And to be honest, we really can't handle most of our own burdens most of the time. There are some things we must be careful to do. We must not, we must be careful not only for ourselves, but for others. And so because of that, we wear a mask and we use our hand sanitizer, not even for ourselves, but out of concern, consideration, and love of others. We were out a few times while we were away for, for lunch or breakfast, and you, know, you wear your mask into the restaurant, and when you get to the table and, and give your order and the food comes, then you, you take your mask off so you can eat, and you, you visit with the folks, and the tables are, are a few feet apart, and the waitresses are, are doing their best at, at serving and so forth. Yes, we have to be concerned for others. We have to, to reach out to others, not to be anxious because somebody isn't really doing what they're supposed to be doing, but to just kind of help them. You don't know their, their situations. I can remember one time, within the last year, I was somewhere, not mentioning names or location, and a young fellow was, was running around with a hat on his head. And somebody came up to me and they said, you know, that's the problem with our young people in today's society. They don't have any respect. What is he wearing that hat for? He should be taking it off. Knowing the situation, I quietly said to the individual who made the comment, well, you know, I think if I was that young lad, I would probably be wearing that ball cap as well because he's just come through at least two to three months of treatment. And so it's all right for him to wear that hat. You see, we don't know what our circumstances are or what other people's circumstances are. And so we do our best, not for ourselves, but out of concern and consideration and love for others. We will be careful and diligent about when we will open our sanctuary back up for inside worship. I know there are some churches that have opened and will be opening in the next week or so, but we've decided not to. We've decided to stay as we are for the interest of others, for the safe and the safety of others as we continue to reach out to you via these online services. And when, whatever regulations we must have to do to put in mind, sure, I don't have to wear a mask while I'm speaking to you over the computer, 
but at church I would have to wear a mask and so would you. We wouldn't be able to sing and hear those familiar hymns and those familiar anthems. We'd have to scour the church down after every service. We'd have to sit six feet apart. Now we join together in unity and fellowship and reach out to others. You may say, I'm allowed to do anything, but not everything is good for you. You say, I'm allowed to do anything, but not everything is beneficial. So we don't want to be concerned totally for our own good, but for the good of others. We need to be careful not to be careless, for our carelessness may cause someone else suffering, sickness, or pain. And I will say I do appreciate the encouragement of our government leaders as we journey through in Canada in this pandemic time. It's good to be reminded that we are not going to let this time get the best of us. I appreciate the reminders that we'll get through this together. And we will. But especially as Christians, let's be sure we remember just who we are. And that we are instructed to reach out to others. As you know, each, each week or perhaps every few days, Kenny Farish puts a little words of wisdom on his Facebook page and, and I've been watching some of those over the, the last few months and every once in a while write one down. I want to share one with you today. It's from an unknown author. Kenny posted this a few days ago. Offering advice may be noble and grand, but it's not the same as a helping hand. A helping hand to reach out to others. To be concerned for others. To bring a smile on a face to someone otherwise depressed. A phone call. A cheery welcome. A wave across the backyard. We still continue to keep our social distance. We continue to keep our isolation. Yes, we do get together on certain occasions for funerals that are a little bit larger these days and for for weddings that have a few more guests, but we still try to keep our distance for the respect of others. We can still console in times of grief and celebrate in times of joy, but we have to think of the well-being of those around us. We are not overcome because we know that we are not alone. We are not overcome because we know that we are not acting in our own strength. We are not overcome because we know that our dependence, our trust, our hope is in God. And because of this, we are not overcome. So as we continue to journey through these difficult days, as we continue to share a little bit more with each other, but as we continue to wear our masks, and sanitize and wash and keep our distance. We remember our concern for others, a cheery smile, a wave of a hand, a friendly hello, a telephone conversation, or a pie brought to the house. May God continue to strengthen us in these days. And we shall overcome what we are going through at the present time. Let us pray. Gracious God, as the words Ron shared with us, we've got to try a little kindness. May we this day, as the kindness that you have shown to us, May we use that same kindness to reach out to others. To do those golden deeds. To know of your presence and love with us. That we may overcome. And not be weighted down with stress and worry. But 
take each day and celebrate the beauty around us, the nature around us, the love and support of family either at a distance or close by. May you strengthen us this day as we continue to worship you now and always. Amen. Our closing hymn is Jesus Calls Us. Jesus calls us for the tumult of life's wild world and restless sea. Day by day his sweet voice sounded, saying, Christians, follow me. Let us now join together in our closing hymn. Jesus calls us o'er the tumult of our lives, we're on restless sea, day by day his sweet voice sounded, saying, Christian, follow me. Jesus calls us from the worship of the vain world's golden store. From each idol that would keep us saying, Christian, love me more. In our joys and in our sorrows, days of toil and hours of And as we have joined together this day, as we have greeted each other with all of our distance, I'd like to once again thank everyone for joining in with us. Thanks to McKinley for his work with uh, uh, putting up uh, the, the hymns each week. Uh, thank for Nora uh, or McKinley's mom for the post last week to say that we were having, I will put in quotes, uh, technical difficulties even though we were we were away and hope to see each one of you again next week and in the coming weeks as we continue to share in our time together whether you have been listening to this uh, broadcast uh, during it live on Sunday morning or whether you've been listening to it at some time during the service we enjoy you being with us and we hope that it is a blessing to you and as we continue to share, may we reach out to others around the world and remember them in their difficulty and in their times of celebration. So as we usually close off, let us join together now in our Go Now in Peace. Amen.
as I was growing up, we listened to a radio station out of Chatham called CFCO, coming from Chatham, Ontario. We were joking the other day when we were talking about our online uh, services that we're going to start broadcasting from CFGO. That's our new call letters for coming from Gorey, Ontario. As I sit in downtown Gorey and share uh, these thoughts uh, with you each week. May God continue to bless you and keep you. May His light to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. Lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace this day and every week. God bless everyone. Stay safe. And until we meet again, we'll be thinking of each other in these difficult times. Until we meet again, stay safe. And farewell.